Gen X and Gen Y, the first latchkey kids. They went home alone. They had to be independent. They're fiercely independent now. What the boomers were, what's in it, they were working together. It's winning. That one is what's in it for me. They don't believe advertising. How many people remember Pepto-Bismol when you were a kid? Pink and icky. They say it's new and improved, but isn't it still pink and icky? Yeah. So they don't believe advertising. And you're going to see that today. So what is their core value and preference? They are also very green. Well, that's not new. That started over 20 years ago, 30 years ago, before they were born. But they picked up on the concept. Because in our boomer age, when we were just living large, they decided they wanted to be more community-minded. See, even though the Internet has made us global, it has made us wildly and targetedly hyper-local. You want to write that down, global hyper-local. Because that is how the message has to be designed. And our millennials, they were born after 1980. They are also fiercely independent. They are highly community-minded. If you're selling residential property, know that they don't care so much about the house. They are more concerned about the lifestyle around the house. How far is it to daycare? What is the park system like? How close is the uh, is a synagogue? So the point that you is you have is you have to understand more about the consumer because they've been taught that they can have or do or get whatever they want anytime, and we did that. 